Alright guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. This is part two of Deep Conversations. Starter. All right, okay, so last time she went first, so I'm gonna go first, okay? Okay. All right, my number one question for you is, who are you really? So who are you really inside? And who is behind the mask that you show to the rest of the world? Whether it's face-to-face -to, -face to your friends or people on the media. I feel like, right, I, come across to be a very like mature person but i feel like in the start yeah. of this video you've probably seen a bit of the different cool side to yeah me. the difference um <laughs> i am very immature for my age hands down i can say that i have all my friends are 90 percent of my friends are younger than me and we're on the same maturity yeah. level i'm, not I'm the oldest out of the group um, second oldest who's the oldest you, you just said it. Old, yeah, I'm the oldest out of the group. Yeah, and I'm the second oldest. Are you? Yes. Okay, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> what? Anyway. Okay. Anyway, so yeah. I feel like I do um, mask my maturity, but it's not really a mask. It's like I can, I can turn it on when it needs to be turned off, yeah. and I can switch it off when it needs to be switched off. Okay. Okay. Um, I also feel like another thing that is like, I come across to be very strong and blunt and like i can take on anything I, I, i'm empowered basically but the littlest things get to me men mentally like i can sit there and think about a comment someone made on a picture for days yeah and it'll come out in my behavior towards the rest of my family which isn't good which i'm working on but i i did tell her this one thing like don't even read it if you see one little thing negative about it just delete it delete it and push it to the side whether you think that, you know, they think that they got the best of you and that's why you're doing it or they make like thousands of accounts or whatever, just delete it. Fuck them. It's done with, you know? Because at the end of the day, and this is, this doesn't just apply to her, like a lot of you out there as well, like even if you're, you know, not that big, even if you're big, whatever it is, you, some people will start to throw shade at some point. Just block it out. You know what I mean? Block it out. Don't even read it. Just delete it. Don't acknowledge it. And move on with your day because as soon as you read it it's gonna set a fire in you you know if you don't read it if you don't even know what it says delete it get rid of it it's done with that's it yeah go on okay your number one question what makes you feel less alone when you're sad what makes me feel less alone when, when you're I'm sad <laughs> you oh yeah of course my kids, my siblings, you know, the people that are closest to me, the people that are in my circle, you know, that I am around on a daily basis is probably going to be the ones and my go-tos whenever I'm feeling blue, yeah. you know. Mm, like people that, side. and because I've been around them from day one, you know, they, they'll definitely know how to help me cope with the situation. They'll know what to say. They'll know whether if I need something, they can help me out, you know? It just, just them lot. Yeah. Who is it for you and me? What? Hmm? What? Is it me? What makes you feel less alone when yeah. you're sad? Yeah, you kids. I think our kids will come for you, yeah. to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I knew it's that. It's like, just one look at the oh, crazies Saturday. and everything yeah. goes away. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, all your pain goes <laughs> away. It's crazy. But you do make me feel better. Yeah. When I'm sad. Number two. You ready? <laughs> How would you react if there was irrefutable proof that God doesn't exist, right? And how would you react if there was irrefutable proof that he does exist? Okay, I feel like the second part, I feel like there is already irrefutable proof that he does exist. Mm, yes. Um, so basically, like your normal life, so you yeah. go about it like how you do normally. Yeah. So the so and to if the there first was bit. Proof that he doesn't exist, then I would look further into like what created us and stuff, <laughs> where we came from. Okay. You wouldn't go out trying new foods or 
you know, doing all those kind of things. Oh, I didn't even think about that part. No. Yeah, like that try, going not, to restaurants. And that would not like be that. the first thing on my mind. <laughs> I would go and eat foods that <laughs> that I yeah. Vegan. No, not go eat vegan. Oinks. My oinks. Your oinks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> probably. All right, go on. Your number two question. Okay. So you asked me this one in part one, but I just wanted to ask you as well. Okay. So which one do you think I'm gonna ask you? Out of the ones you asked me last time. I don't remember to be honest. That was a week ago, and my mind's so blind. So sad. Um, when do you feel the most attractive? <laughs> When I get out of the shower. Yeah. I've noticed that, you know, you come out of the shower and if I'm inside the bedroom, <laughs> I'll do things to like try and see if I'm looking at him, but I, I don't look at him on purpose. Cause yeah. I'm like, I'm not gonna give you the attention. Especially after I get a fresh cut, you know, I've done and my trim. The, the yeah, I've done my trim and everything. Yes. Oh man. You need to feel like that again. Yes. Yes. That's If you guys ever noticed, I've been wearing a lot of caps lately in my videos. It's cause his hair is messed up. My hair is, it's just lockdown things. Yeah, man. Just easier if it's. I'm just thinking about going bald, to be honest. No, oh we're actually God. thinking he wants me to cut his hair, but I was like, let's yeah. just make that a YouTube video. So I if you guys watch want a, that, yeah, definitely. Drop a comment down below, My and I'll do it for you guys. Nasty. I didn't want to do it for him because I know I'll mess up. But Even if, if, if you think it. it's gonna be entertaining, let I'll us do know. It. She'll do it. I'll go to Tesco's and buy the clippers and come back and or we'll shoot the video of her shaving my head off. All right. It's um, 3 a.m. right now, guys. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. And we're on 3 a.m. question number three. 3 a.m. question. <laughs> All right. Number three. Mm -hmm. Are humans better at creation or destruction? What do you think? Destruction. Yeah? Yeah. You think we do more destructive things than... Yes, 75% from the last time I searched, 75% of the world lives in poverty. So yeah, definitely more destruction. That's a good, that's a good way to look at it, yeah. Uh -huh, nice. Sad times. Definitely. Sad like the times. amount of rich people that can make poor people not be poor anymore, but yeah. they still sit on their asses. Or like even still asses, put bums, like, a, like build like a rich. nice city just in like a bit of the poor areas for like better food and you know better yeah. shelter like, it doesn't even have to be like you know luxurious or anything yeah. just like, like little you know minor buildings yeah like how many massive organizations charity organizations are there but how many of them actually do donations what they say that they're and, gonna do you know help feed the needy not and the poor well, and build well. wells and all these things do you know what i mean that's why i stopped trusting big charity organizations yeah like, like we I only go it. off of the ones that we do it face to, to face, yeah. like we do it through family and stuff. Yeah. We don't do it with big one or uh, organizations. <laughs> yes. Number four. No, this is, oh yeah, this is my number three. Oh yeah, you're number three, sorry, my bad. What's something you could change about our relationship? What's something that, oh, I know, fighting. No, but what? Specifically, what? Um, us needing time to forgive each other. That's one thing I would change. Yeah, but you don't need that. I need that. Exactly. Like after we have an <laughs> argument, I need a certain amount of time, depending on how big the argument is. Time, was. space. I need time and space everything. to just breathe and calm down. Where, whereas with him, if I go to him, he can hug me right away and be normal about it whereas with me i have to to have Bro, some time she's like then i have bomb. to speak it out and then you can come and hug me and stuff yeah so she won't let me hug her unless like like even to like speak about it like like say we get into an argument and we go to bed right and we haven't talked about anything and i'll go and give a little cuddle she'll get so pissed off I'm like speak because to me first before you come and hug me yeah i'm like oh but I'm pretty sure a lot of women can relate to this. I don't think I'm the only one, so. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right, number four. What's something terrifying that we've all come to accept as fact of life 
besides death? No, oppression. Oppression? Yeah. Oppression and abuse. Oh, uh, did I say fact like of the, life? As a fact of life, sorry. The, um... The cat's thing we accidentally put on yesterday. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Uh, I was literally crying and we'd only watched five minutes of it. And I was a, like, I can't. Yeah. I can't watch anymore. It's on Netflix if you it's, guys haven't seen it. It's called, called Don't F with Cats. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll bleep it out. Don't F with Cats. And yeah. it's about. We didn't know what it was about at first. We. Did you know what's so funny? She was like, oh, what's that? Oh, <laughs> wow, that looks interesting. She's really into documentaries. I'm into like documentaries and reality so, shows. So, like a few seconds into it, they start playing the video of this guy and what he does to these two baby kittens. And she's like, oh my god. I did off. not make that face. And I was like, we're only a few seconds into it. No, like, cat, we're not getting, animals, da, 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 old don't people, even, don't even, children. Uh, like, that abuse is next level. Yeah. How how do you have the heart to do how? Mm -hmm. Like that's what that's what. Takes it was a my bit heart. disturbing for me that's, as well, and I watch a lot of gruesome stuff. So yeah, like that's what just disturbing. takes my heart away from the human creation. Like I'm just like what? It's mad. <sighs> like when I see yeah. kittens, I see my babies. Well, any kind of baby, actually. Whether it's a baby chick, whether it's a baby kitten, whether yeah, it's a you puppy, just see your whether it's a, a calf, you know, this is anything yeah. that's young. If it was an adult, like per se, if you watch, you know, there's a lot of uh, animal cruelty that goes on. What are you doing? It's not balanced. Like it's it doesn't down matter if it's balanced or not. You're ruining it. I'm not. All right, like say there's like animal cruelty, right? So you've got the adult, right? animals and then you've got the baby animals it wouldn't hurt as bad watching the adult ones yes it is a bit gruesome but if you watch it to like the baby ones as well then you start thinking like they haven't even lived their full life yet they're just young and they're this they're that you know what i mean so it's a bit i don't know it plays it plays differently to your emotion yeah all right it's disgusting your number four question <sighs> that just made me upset all over again <laughs> um <laughs> okay did anybody save your life without realizing it? If so, what do you wish you could say to them? I would say thank you for what you did. I would say if you were here right now, I'd give you a hug mm. and tell you that if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be sitting here in front of this camera. I wouldn't be here with my wife. I wouldn't have my daughter born you know and waking up every day to seeing her laugh and making these memorable moments so thank you very much because you did save my life and if you don't realize it and i'm pretty sure you might know who you are if you are watching this video thank you oh that was very heartfelt yeah it's cute if i do deep it sometimes because i'm like man if i actually did take my life all of, none of this would have happened. Yeah. You know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Okay. All right, number five. If you were given an envelope with the time and date of your death on it, would you open it and why? Yes. Why? Why would you do that? One, I would, I one do that. out of I curiosity know. and two, just so I can make sure I get everything that I want to do done before that time and I can make sure I fix my house up. If it was me, I would just be like, nope. And I'd be like, I'm just gonna live my life. And when no, it comes to wouldn't you wanna happen. like fix things before you go? That's just cheating then. Yeah, but that's like you having an envelope at all is cheating, but you've got it. <laughs> I guess, yeah. That's like sitting in an exam paper, right? That would make me and not wanna sleep at night. But sitting in an exam paper and the answers are right in front of you and you have the choice to look at it or not. Nobody's watching. You're not going to get punished for looking at it. Of course you'd look at it. <laughs> okay. I don't yeah, know. I, mean. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't look at it. Mm. Okay. That's just me. Go on. Number five. Oh, I did the last one. Are we finished already? Yep. Okay, this is a, a simple one. Um, what's a childhood dream that you never accomplished? A childhood dream that I never accomplished was to be an actor. 
An actor? Yes. So you're not going to accomplish that. Wow. You are wow. such a bad actor, babe. I am a terrible actor. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> it's because you're a perfectionist, though. Like, I yeah. think it would be so difficult to work with you. I am very uh, much of a perfectionist, yes. Yeah. And、um, I never took classes. But that's one thing I always wanted to achieve as a childhood dream. Was to be an actor. But yeah, guys, that was the second part of Deep Conversations. Hope you、part、enjoyed、two. that video. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Don't forget, Don't forget to subscribe to my video. <laughs> <laughs> if you guys haven't watched、uh, Aisha's i、uh, n s t a g r a m if you're not、Instagram、following story, me on Instagram, you won't get it. But you won't if you're following、it. me on Instagram, if you're following you'll, get her, you'll get it. Because it's posted to her story. <laughs> so go ahead and check her out on Instagram at Empowered by Myself. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, drop a comment down below, and hit that post notifications bell if you haven't already to get updated every time we post. We are gonna try to be consistent, guys. Don't worry, we will. Peace and love. Bye.